Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Well, we came out today to get set up in this gorgeous valley. This is gonna be a great spot. This spot's only gonna get better as the season goes on because those deer are gonna be pushed down in here by pressure and they're gonna be running here even heavier through the rut. But we came up with a unique problem that we wanted to kind of explain to people that we don't touch on very often. So when we came in here, we instantly seen exactly where we want to set up. And that's on that far ridge about halfway down, there's that little island of trees. It's a perfect spot for a blind. It faces to the northwest and it overlooks that bottom valley. And that's gonna work just perfect. The nice thing about that ridge behind you is it gives you a good natural barrier. On the other side of that ridge, there's nothing. It's just flat, wide open field. Those deer aren't gonna be up there. They're not gonna be circling around you. So it really gives you an advantage. So it's facing to the northwest. We're gonna to wanna to sit in on northwest wind to blow our scent out that way. Now, if we've got a good breezy day, it's no problem. Our scent's gonna push up and out and we're gonna be safe. On a day like today, when it's not very breezy, that's when it kind of presents some problems. And you gotta think about not necessarily the wind direction, but what's gonna shift that wind direction and how that wind direction is gonna modify itself with land formations. So we're gonna be facing kind of northwest and that ridge kind of curves around to the south. So that valley runs to the south. If the wind comes from the northwest and hits that land formation, if there's not much of a breeze, it's gonna push your scent south all the way down the valley. Now that's fine if that's what your plan is, but you have to kind of think about where your deer are gonna come from and where they're gonna go. With that said, we might also sit here on a west or a little bit southwest wind, and that's fine. That's kind of what it's gonna be set up for. But if the wind hits that ridge that follows the valley on a west or a southwest wind, that scent is gonna follow along the north side here and if there's not much wind, it's not gonna push it out. It's just gonna kind of hover along this edge. And again, that's fine, depending on what you want from your deer. If you're expecting the deer to be bedding in this short stuff here and a little bit of these woods, or if you're expecting them, they're gonna be coming out of the creek or out of the valley bottom and traveling that way, that's not gonna be ideal. And that's another good reason why we use the Nozonics on every single sit, because we can't control all the factors. We can do all the figuring that we want, but there's always land formations, there's always thermals, there's things that aren't going to agree with your plan. So we use the Nozonics in every sit and that's kind of our default safety net. Now I know that if something doesn't happen right, if the wind shifts a little bit, or if we weren't expecting the wind to do what it actually does when it goes around a ridge, then we're safeguarded by using the Nozonics. Sometimes you just have to look a step or two further than just which direction the wind's going. So we take another step, we add on Nozonics. That way we know we're protected if our setup's not just right. If the wind doesn't do exactly what we think it's gonna do, if the thermals change, if the wind doesn't do what we think it's gonna do a few steps away from our blind. And that's another thing to take a look at. Step back and take a look at what your wind's gonna do 50, 80, 100, even 200 yards away from your specific stand location. What am I do around certain landmarks? And taking those additional steps into account before deciding whether you're gonna head in after that buck on any given day is gonna only increase your chance at taking your next trophy deer. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment.